Hi there, welcome to the video. We're going to look at how we can use string interpolation inside of JavaScript. So in the past, you may have done something like this. If we had a name, let's say we had a name of equal to Paul. And maybe we'll have a last name so we can make this a first name. And second name of Halida. And we wanted to create a const full name. We might do something like first name plus last name. And that's not too bad, but we need also a space at this point. So let's add a space and then the plus. And then maybe we want to say something like, we can change this to instead of full name, be greeting and our greeting becomes, hello, my name is, and then we need a space plus that. And as we can see right now, at the moment, uh, my sort of ESLint is complaining because this is not necessarily great practice in 2019. So we're doing a lot of extra work here. We're using plus, we're having to manage the space and much more. So what we can do instead is replace these with backticks. So these can be double quotes if we want. We could even make single quotes, it wouldn't make a difference. But when it comes to concatenating them all together, we can use what's known as this backtick. And the backtick, for me at least, is next to Z on my keyboard. It could be next to one for you. But the backtick at the beginning and the end allows us to get rid of these pluses, like so. And now when we have the variable names of first name and last name, we put a dollar sign and then a brace around the start and a brace around the end of the variable. We can do the same for the last name. And then at this stage, if we log out greeting, we can see, hello, my name is Paul Halliday. So that's how we use template literals, template interpolation, string interpolation, Whatever you want to call it, essentially we're concatenating two strings together and we aren't using the plus method. We're using the sort of modern new way with backticks. Hope you found this useful. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you want to see inside of the comments. I'd be excited to read and of course get back to you. Thanks a lot. Bye.